Hello, in this video, I will show you how to teach a lesson remotely using Google Classroom and Google Hangouts Meet in the case of a school closure due to the coronavirus. So I've opened my Chrome browser to Google. Now I'm going to go to the top right hand corner, the grid icon, click that. Then I'm going to scroll down throughout the Google tools till I get to Classroom. Click the Classroom icon. That's going to open up my Classroom homepage. And there is the class that I want to teach remotely, Year 10 Philosophy. So I'm going to click that. Then I'm going to click Classwork. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to create a topic for the lesson. So I'm going to call this Lesson 1, Period 2, then make up a date, 20th of the 4th, 2020. Add that and that will create a topic. Next thing I want to do is I want to create a register so that students can register that they are present in the classroom at that specific time. And I'm going to do that using the question mode. So this pops up. I'm going to put register as the title. And I'm going to simply write click I'm here to show your teacher you are present. Okay, so what are they going to click? Well, in the right hand corner here, where it says short answer, if I click that, it gives me the option to change it to multiple choice. I'm only going to use one of these multiple choice options though, and that'll be option one, and I'm going to rename it. I'm here. Then over on the right hand side, I'm going to change the topic to lesson one so that it appears under the lesson one topic that I have just created. And then I'm going to click ask in the top right hand corner. And that should, yes, appear under the lesson topic. So that will be the first thing that I want my students to do is to click that register and to show that they're there. So if I click on that as a teacher and then I click a view question, it will show me who has turned up and who hasn't. So down the left-hand side, you can only see one student here at the moment, but down the left-hand side, um, it will show you who has answered the question. That'll be the people who are present. And then there'll be below that, those who haven't, those will be your students who are not present. I'm going to go back to the classroom now, and I'm going to create my other material. So after the register, I'd like my students to do a retrieval quiz, as they do at the start of every lesson. To do this, I'm going to click Quiz Assignment. And I'm going to get rid of the blank Google Forms quiz that is there. Um, obviously, if you have not created one already, just click blank quiz and you can create your quiz. However, I've also already got one created. So I'm going to click the X, get rid of that. Click Add, Google Drive. And under the Recent tab, I can see over here my quiz that I've already created. I'm going to double click that and that will attach itself to this assignment. As a title, I'm going to put hashtag 001. I like to number my assignments in Google Classroom so that if I'm referring to one of them to a class, I can easily do it by just telling them the number. So hashtag 001, do now. And just those two words, do now, will tell my students that it's the quiz that I want them to do for the start of the lesson, the retrieval quiz. Once that's sorted out, I'm going to go over to the other side again. Under topic, I'm going to put it under the lesson one, period two topic that I created. Um, out of points, I'm going to leave that ungraded because the Google Form quiz will grade it itself. And then I'm going to click assign. And as you see, that appears now under the lesson one topic. And I'm just going to drag it under the register because I want the register to be the first thing they do. So if I hover over the do now task, click and drag under, it will appear under the register. Okay, so now I'm going to set up my main task for the lesson that I want my students to work on. Again, I'm going to go to create assignment this time because I don't want it to be a quiz assignment. I just want it to be a normal assignment. And I'm going to give it the title, hashtag 002, because it's the second task I want them to do. And I'm going to call this main task, exam question. 
because I'm going to be setting them an exam question to do. Instructions, click Google Doc and complete the exam question. Right, I need to create the Google Doc now, so I'm going to click Create Docs, and immediately it's going to attach a Google Doc to my assignment. So if I go back to that tab, you can see that that's there. What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to click here where it says students can view file because I want a copy for each student to work in. I'm going to click make a copy for each student. Then you can see at the top in the Chrome browser, it has opened a new tab with my blank Google Doc. So I'm going to call it exam question. Click up here so that it has the title. So the title will appear and it will take the text that is in the top line of the document. Then I'm going to write the question. So the question is going to be explain Plato's allegory of the cave. And it's going to be worth 12 marks. There we go. So when each student gets their own copy of this, I'm going to want them to write their answer underneath. So I'm just going to put a little reminder there. Write your answer here. There we go. And because I don't need to save in Google, I can just close that tab there. And the Google Doc is there attached to the assignment. Don't forget, there's a new Google feature called Originality Report down here. So if I click that, what it will do is it will essentially a bit like um, software that a lot of universities have. It will check the content of everybody's answers um, and search Google, essentially the internet, and see if the student has plagiarized or not. So I'm going to click that. Then I'm going to make sure it goes under the topic of lesson one again, and I'm going to click assign. And that has appeared under lesson one. Again, I'm going to drag that down because I want it to be the main task underneath the do now task. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to create a link for my Google Hangout Meet. Google Hangout Meet is where I'm going to remotely teach my lesson. Okay, so it's essentially Google's version of a video conference and tool. So if I... Again, go to the top right-hand corner where I can view all the Google apps in the grid icon, click it. Then I'm going to scroll down to where it says Meet. I'm going to click Meet. And it says there, Join or Start a Meeting. I'm going to click Join or Start a Meeting and give it a name. So Lesson 1, Period 2, Continue. So once I've clicked Continue there, I am going to... Turn my camera off. Um, you can keep your camera on or turn your camera off. You can also turn your microphone off, turn your microphone on. Um, I am not haven't actually joined it yet, so I'm going to click Join Now. So now that I am inside this Google Meet, you can see that it's brought up a link. So I'm just going to highlight that link. And this is the link I'm going to give to my students so that they can join this specific Hangout for this class. So I'm going to highlight it and copy it. Then I'm going to go back to my Google Classroom, so the tab at the top, and I'm going to create some material. And that's where I'm going to put the link to the Hangout Meet. So if I click Create Material, and I want this to be prominent. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two stars either side of it. And then I'm going to write in link to video lesson. Instructions, click the link to enter, and then I'm going to click Add, and then I'm going to click Link, and that's where I paste my link for the Google Hangout in. So you can see there, I just pasted that in. I'm going to click Add Link, and it's added. On the right-hand side, I'm going to click Topic, put it under that Lesson 1, Period 2, Topic, and then click Post. And as previously, 
it has appeared under there and that's where I want it to be. It's at the top. Again, I can drag it if I need to, but it's at the top. So students know that as soon as they come into this Google Classroom, go to Classwork, see this lesson, at the top is the link to the video lesson. So I want them to enter the video, the video call. I want them to register that they are here and then they have also got a do now task to get on with while people are joining the call. Okay, so let me take you back over to Google Meet and show you a few of these features. I can click the X and get rid of the link there. So as you can see, um, I haven't got my video on at the moment, but if I was to click the icon down the bottom here, it would turn my video on so that students can see me face to face. You will have your students appear in here when they join the call. Uh, if you go to the three dots in the bottom right hand corner, you can change the layout. So you can, if I click that, it has different types of layout. So you can either see students down the right hand side with the main person who's talking in the middle and that will automatically change um, when somebody is talking or you can have it tiled here. So different ways to view everybody in the class. If I go back down to the three dots, another great feature, which I think will help students a lot, especially if their devices aren't of great quality, if they're in a busy house and they can't hear, is turn on captions so now when you turn on captions you will see at the bottom that everything i am saying is being captioned this is a great feature especially for students who just need that extra stimulus so not just listening to you but need you to read your words so that's there um and that's a fantastic feature you can always turn them off again by just clicking turn off captions at the bottom here so another great feature uh, is the chat feature within the Google Meet. So at the top right-hand corner, there is a speech bubble. I'm going to click that, and that's going to bring a, essentially an instant messenger up on the right-hand side. What I would do, I think good practice for this, would be to ask all students to turn their microphones off, turn their microphones to mute. So at the bottom of the video call is the option to do that, just like I turned my video off you can turn the microphone off as well. Ask them all to turn the microphone off. And if they want to ask you a question, if they want to contribute, they can type. Uh, and that way you haven't got various students jumping in over the top of you while you're trying to teach your lesson or while you're trying to give instructions. And then when you finish speaking, you can see what students have, have typed down the right-hand side. I have something to show you. Hello, and that appears and then you can answer their questions. You can also have click on the people tab in there and it'll show you who is actually inside the Google Meet. You could also post links in there. So if you wanna direct them to a resource or a website, you can post the link in there. And I think this is a really great feature if you essentially just wanna give your students um, some input. So you can spend five, 10 minutes giving them some input on the topic before you come out of the call and let them get on with the main bit of work that we've set in the Google Classroom. So to come out of the chat feature on the right-hand side, I'm just gonna click back onto the main screen and it will disappear. If you wanna show your students some text or a resource or a video that is playing on your computer, um, so that you can teach them. You can also go down to the bottom and click present now. And instead of students seeing you, uh, a video of you, they will see your screen. So I'll, I'll demo that for you. If I click present now, I can choose whether I just want to show them a specific window, so a specific tab in my browser or my entire screen. So I'm gonna click entire screen and it's going to ask me which screen. I've got three screens here, so I'm going to choose screen number two, share. And then, as you can see, it's going to present that screen to everybody. Okay, so they will be able to see now everything I'm doing on the screen. And at any moment, if I want to stop that and go back to the video, I can just click stop presenting. I'm going to close that Google Meet tab, go back to the lesson. And then when I've give, given my input as the teacher and they are getting on with their exam question, I'm going to go to the exam question, click view assignment. I'm going to open 
their work and I'm going to have a look. Um, so don't forget, as always, when you are viewing as a teacher um, a Google document that students are working in, you can, at the top, you've got the feature, um, the drop down feature to move between students. So you can move between their work. You can comment on students' work simply by highlighting a piece of work, then clicking the comment icon that pops up on the right hand side. Leave a comment for students. You can also grade their work and you can add some comments in the private comment box as well. I hope this has helped. Thank you.